Aloha and welcome back to High Now Daily. For more than four decades, YWCA O'ahu has taken the lead on recognizing women in our local community who are making extraordinary efforts and contributions to create lasting impacts. And so we're so excited to be talking about their legacy with the 47th Annual Leader Luncheon. It's going to be held on Thursday, May 9th, starting at noon at the Sheraton in Waikiki. For details on the event, visit ywcaoahu.org slash leader luncheon. Now again, YWCA CA Oahu uh, would like to thank their sponsors as well. And we've listed all of them on the screen. Again, this is going to be for the 47th annual Leader Luncheon. And we're going to learn a little bit more about those who are going to be recognized that day. Four women will be honored during the YWCA Oahu Leader Luncheon. Uh, and one of them is here with us today, Leslie Wilkins, the president and CEO of the Maui Economic Development Board. And we're also joined by Kathy Betts as well. Welcome into the show, ladies. Very happy to have you folks here. Thank you. Thank you for letting us be here. Mahalo Nui for being here. Uh, Leslie, I want to start with you. Tell sure. us uh, more about your service to the community on both the Valley Isle as well as Oahu. Uh, well, thank you. Well, you know, my work has been with lots of women's organizations that are statewide serving, uh, the YWCA being one of them. Right now, of course, at home, um, it's been a really tough time for Maui. So in my position with Maui Economic Development Board, I work with an amazingly dedicated team, and we're doing everything we can to help our community in recovery. Absolutely. Uh, Leslie, tell us more about the Maui Economic Development Board uh, and its impact on STEM as well. Oh, thank you. Well, it is a 501c3 nonprofit. We're working to strengthen our economy, to help diversify it with some different kinds of jobs, high wage jobs that will keep our young people home. And the pathway to that is STEM education. And of course, we definitely want to make sure that's an inclusive pipeline to technical careers. So outreach to girls, women, other underrepresented groups that are not going to STEM. Our programs are expansive, not only on Maui, but statewide under the name of STEM Works. Mm -hmm. And Leslie, what, what does it mean to you? You've had such a, an incredible career, a lasting yeah. impact with, within our community as well. Uh, when you were notified that you were going to be recognized by the YWCA Oahu as, as part of this leader luncheon. I was totally in shock, totally surprised, because my home is on Maui. I, it was a virtual surprise. Um, Noriko, the head of the YWCA, is famous for surprising her honorees. Full of surprises. Absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, I thought we were having a little meeting about a possible grant collaboration and all of a sudden I saw our board of directors my staff even my husband and daughter on the zoom call is how she announced it so I think my best reaction besides being totally honored and totally shocked I was speechless basically that must have been such a special and incredible moment. It was incredible. And then our board chair came into my office and had a beautiful lay. So it was really memorable. Definitely. And uh, Kathy, I want to transition over to you. Uh, obviously, so many incredible women doing very important work within our community. Uh, and, and what was it about uh, Leslie's story of, of uh, everything that she's done in terms of both Valley, uh, uh, the Valley Isle and Oahu as well, uh, but that the YWCA, uh, the YWCA recognized her? Well, that's a it's a hard um, ask or a hard question to provide a short answer for. Rather, um, Leslie's dedicated her whole entire career towards gender equity and serving those in underrepresented communities and really ensuring equitable access to education and resources and economic opportunities. Uh, you know, primarily my work with Leslie has been at the State Commission on the Status of Women when she served as our chair and I was the executive director. But one of the things that struck me as most I think relatable to Leslie and uh, just really honorable is that her advocacy is always rooted in diplomacy and patience and kindness. And I think that's what makes her so successful. Uh, and then her work with MEDB and STEM Works has just been so phenomenal in terms of bettering the lives of our community and ensuring that all of our children have access to education and economic opportunities for a better future. Oh, Thank that's going to make you I know. It's going to make me tear up. Thank you, Kathy. Very beautiful. And Leslie, I want to go back to you because um, obviously so much of, of Maui has, has changed in, the, in, in this last year. Exactly. How can people continue to support Kokoa efforts that are taking place? Um, um, in terms of supporting Maui as it moves forward. Absolutely. So I think continue to respect and understand that most of Maui is grieving. Um, you know, many of us were not directly impacted, but so many were. They are our family members, our friends, our former co-workers. So um, continuing to keep them top of mind, whether it's through generous donations of cash or your support or advocacy, um, it's going to be a long recovery. 
but we are a resilient community, a community of people who really, really care, and we're gonna do everything we can to um, help people. And I think um, I serve on the Economic Recovery Commission that was appointed by Mayor Bisson and Governor Green, and I love our mission is to keep Mallians home or make sure that Mallians who had to leave have a pathway home. Uh, so that they can continue to spend their lives in beautiful Lahaina or on Maui. Absolutely. Last question before I let you um, ladies go. More information. If people want to attend the Leader Lunch and continue to learn uh, more about the YWCA Oahu uh, organization and ways to support it, what's the best way? Oh, absolutely. YWCAOahu.org. Leader Lunch is so much fun. It's a great opportunity to get together with your friends and celebrate women and celebrate the great accomplishments of the YWCA. And most of all, you're making a significant contribution. Mm -hmm. It's a fundraiser to their continued work. Absolutely. And congratulations, Leslie. Thank Kathy. you. It's such a huge Thank honor. You. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here, ladies. And we have that information listed on the screen as well. We're going to head to break. You're watching High Now Daily, and we'll be right back.